Hey everybody, it's John the Pool Expert. Um, today we're going to talk about something that's confusing to a lot of people, uh, equal potential bonding. Um, it's super important um, and there's a lot of people that don't understand how it works, um, but basically what we are doing is we are trying to bond the rebar that's in the pool along with the rebar that is in the concrete. If you can see um, we have a rebar all in the concrete of the entire pool and you can see we have bonding clamps um, all the way around the pool there's uh, there's a bonding clamps um, on each, you should have a bonding clamp on each side and that bonding clamp is tying the a number eight ground wire bare to the rebar that's inside of the pool and it is tying it to the rebar that is surrounding the pool and anything within five feet of the pool that's metal needs to be bonded and what we're trying to accomplish by this is to create a um, a constant voltage um, so that we don't have any stray voltage around the house um, because that could be dangerous. We do not want the water in the pool to have a different voltage than the concrete around the pool that's a different voltage from the metal things that are around the pool. Um, we want all that to be the same which should be a zero to one volt um, but it should be a, a um, what we're trying to do is have everything the same because when you have a volt di difference that's when there's a problem. So say if you're in the water and the voltage of the water is zero but the voltage of the rebar in the concrete is two, you're going to have a voltage difference and you're going to feel that. So it's very important that everything is tied together. So in the state of California we bond the water, we have a bonding that goes into the pipe that bonds the water. We bond the rebar around the pool, we bond the rebar that's inside the pool, and we bond anything metal that's within five feet of the pool. Also, we bond all of the pool equipment, and everything gets bonded to the ground that comes from the main panel. So everything around the entire pool is completely and utterly bonded, and that's what you want. Um, so I know a lot of people are confused about this, um, but it is important. Um, a lot of people say, nah, we don't need to bond anything. It's not important. Uh, we don't, we'll just, you know, come and replace your pump and don't bond it to the existing bonding wire. You know, that's easier to do that way, but the, the point of having a redundant bond is, is for safety because it doesn't take much more than a couple volts to stop somebody's heart. And, um, so what we like to do uh, is try to make sure everything is completely bonded um, as you can see over here um, we have a bonding wire um, coming up I don't know if you can see it but there's a bonding wire that comes from the pool and it goes all the way up there's there's a metal post here that's within five feet of the pool so anything metal needs to be bonded and uh, it's just for everybody's safety um, I know a lot of a lot of pool guys may disagree with me but that's uh, the National Electric Code so uh, make sure when you're bonding, you're using you're using a direct burial bonding clamps, and that everything's nice and tight, and uh, you should be good. So anyway, that's what I have to say about equal potential bonding. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comment section. Um, I'll I'll try to get to you if I can. Um, but that's, that's what equal potential bonding is all about. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, give me thumbs ups. Uh, subscribe. And uh, have a good one. Thanks for watching.